plans are made destined to change the course of history. In 1441, two Portuguese captains picked up 12 Africans, brought them to Cabo Branco, Portugal, the slaves. This is the beginning of the slave trade. They were so successful that just four years after, a tax collector from Lago set up trade with Africa. This was in about 1444. Don't go nowhere, cause there's a whole lot more. In 1452, the first time sugar's planted on an isle in Portugal. That same year, Pope Nicholas V proclaims that if you're not a Christian, you're asking people in chains. For years, the Portuguese monopolized the slave game. They were so large they set up shop in Seville, Spain. Now in 1476, despite papal opposition, the Spanish got down with the ship. It was a captain named Carlos de Valera. He brought back 400 men from Africa. 1481, Diogo da Azambuja builds the castle at Almina. That's modern day Ghana. Not only was it one of the day's busiest ports, it was also one of slavery's most notorious. 1483, the discovery of the Congo River, a gold mine if your goal was enslaving niggas. 1492, Columbus sails the ocean blue. Yeah, all right, Laura, once again. First, you hock the jewels, you give me the money, and I buy the ships. Then I discover the new world. You dump the king, and I'll send for it. You sail, you send it all in the will. Oh, look, we've been all through this before. I know, but really, you're such a dreamer. You'll go out there, and you'll sail right off the edge of the world. After months and months of sea, death, and all type of drama, Chris lands on San Salvador, modern-day Bahamas, 1493. On Columbus' second voyage, he starts the transatlantic trade, enslaving the Tahino village. He bought him from Hispaniola, that's the DR, to Spain. It gets even more insane. 1499, Vespucci and Hojeda take natives from South America this time. When Columbus did it, there were legal issues in the past. This time they had no problem selling a native ass. 1500, it starts to get real ill. Pedro Cabral sets foot on Brazil. 1502, to a guy named Juan Cordoba is the first merchant on record to send Africans over. He was only allowed one by Spanish authorities, but other dirty merchants sent two or three. 1509, Columbus son Diego Colon, governor of the empire at that time, said the native slaves were lazy and they worked too slow. 1510, 50 black slaves are shipped to Santo Domingo. 1513, Ponce de Leon, the first European to touch American soil. He landed on the coast, modern day Florida as is known to most. 1516 on a ship, a huge native slave rebellion. They killed the crew and sailed back home. 1519, here comes Magellan. 1521, Cortez slaughters the Aztecs. 1522, slaves in Española break their masters' necks. 1526, the German put slaves on ships. 1532, Pizarro kills the Incas and shit. 1562, the English get into the mix. John Hawkins brought back black potatoes and tobacco from his trips. 1579, the United United province since is formed, and the trading machine of the Dutch is born. Now I could go on and on and on and on, but for practical reasons, it'll take too long. To all my brothers claiming that they Hispanic and Latino, you are African, Aztec, Incan, and Taino. Now that I showed you how these nations gained their wealth, I hope I piqued your interest, so check it out for yourself.